I'd say that mental strength is, you know, the, the biggest part of football or, or in any sport. You know, if you don't, if you don't have that mental toughness, you probably, you know, you're not going to make it because you've got to be able to deal with, you know, meeting expectations and taking criticism and setbacks. I train every day, basically, like I'll never go a day without touching the ball. If I don't have formal training with a team or something, I'll just go down to the park, which is about 200 metres from my house, and just kick against a wall there, and I try to emulate different touches that I get in the game. Sometimes the wall is a friend, I can play it to him and he gives it back to me, but sometimes he's my enemy and I'm shooting against him and I imagine a goalkeeper, you know, standing on that wall and I want to score and, yeah, drill it as hard as I can. I've coached hundreds if not thousands of young players coming through uh, and every now and then it's, you see someone special and that person usually has a dream and they're willing to follow that dream and chase that dream. I was born in Croatia and when the war started back in Yugoslavia it was a tough time for both not only me but also my parents and when we came to Australia they gave us another opportunity to start a new life and I've really used all the hardship that I've gone through and channeled it into my football. Hey boys, today's a great opportunity for you to get used to what you're going to be doing over there in the UK. We leave on January 19th, there's 42 countries involved, 100 players, 8 spots, I mean there's a lot, there's a lot riding on it. Do your best and you never know, you might end up at the Nike Academy and one day playing professional football over in Europe, so good luck with it all. It's a vertical jump test, speed test, an agility test and then the yo-yo endurance test. For me the chance opportunity is once in a lifetime. There's a lot of footballers out there that would do anything to have the chance that I have right now. So I feel that if I prepare well and train hard over the next seven or eight weeks until we leave, that yeah, anything can happen and I'm going to give them all. Well done guys, know what to expect. See you in six weeks. You know, a lot of people my age are going to a lot of parties and you know, have a lot of fun but I've had to cut down on that a lot knowing that you know, what's at stake. He's an inspiration to the rest of our family. The work that he puts into his soccer, social life, school work, and the balance that he's able to get, it's just, it's a remarkable thing. Football is a great game. You can go anywhere in the world and, you know, start up a game with people. And even though you don't speak the same language as them, the language is football. It really only hit me when I flew into Melbourne and realised that I was going to be moving away from my friends and family to really pursue what I want to do in life. The chance has given me that opportunity. The night before a big game I like to go for a long walk which helps me mentally rehearse what I'm supposed to be doing out on the field. Every so often I like to just stop and close my eyes and uh, picture myself doing a certain action in a key moment of the game which helps me gain confidence for the match tomorrow. You know, after we got to know each other, we really became good friends and set of competitors and now, you know, we train with a high spirit and we all, we all want each other to succeed as well as, you know, ourselves. So that's something that is really useful and will help me personally to get where I want to get.